You've got that finger over the lens. Where's the lens? The lens is right up here. That's silly. Is what it I'm is. left-handed. Can I do it all upside down? Yeah, you can turn it, just turn it out the other way. Would that work? Yeah. It's recording. Like that. What? <laughs> I think it's recording. Oh, right. Okay, fantastic. Good. Um, well, hello. Here we are again. Uh, safety is number two priority. <laughs> Um, having fun is number one priority. All rosy. Okay, so here's our motor drive system. Here is a large length of threaded rod, M12. What we've got to do is we've got to chop this threaded rod up and we've got to connect the motor into the threaded rod by drilling a hole and using some serious metal glue uh, to nail that down properly and then this motor can be used to drive the one wheel either side over here we have a bunch of wood um, and this will be used effectively to make some kind of a, a chassis for our uh, for our lawnmower um, and we're gonna have two motors on the front with two wheels on the front and uh, a caster wheel on the back um, that's as far as the plan has got so uh, today uh, but uh, we make Richie's here I'll introduce uh, you to him in a short while and uh, but this is this is where we're going with the project anyway we'll see how we do all right, so this is Richie, and Richie has in his hand an angle grinder, present angle grinder, yep. and a lump of threaded rod. And Richie is going to go ahead and chop threaded rod with angle grinder. Go for it, mate. Try and turn it on. So Richie has very kindly brought his uh, fantastic set of drill bits around. Um, he's insisted that I use some kind of cutting fluid. Uh, so over here we have some three-in-one um, and uh, the old uh, Black & Decker house wrecker. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try and uh, see if we can start uh, a small hole in the top of this threaded rod. Come over here and uh, have a look at this, get in the detail. Uh, so you can see, maybe you can see. Ah, uh, keep it, keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, All right. Oh, that's nice and sharp, Rich. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. That's oh, that's actually cutting, mate. Yeah. It's nice. Whoops. Right. Okay. So apparently my chuck's not very uh, taut, but it's not a million miles away from the middle. Richie did say to me that he would be very unimpressed if I didn't get it in the middle because then my grass cut would be uneven. But um, uh, in the big scheme of things, I don't think it's really going to uh, cause us too much trouble. So we'll show you how we do uh, in, in the end. But um, uh, we've got some lovely uh, metal part A and part B um, araldite here, which uh, hopefully should, uh, when we clean out all of the cutting fluid oil, uh, that should take care of things so apologies if it's a bit windy but we are outside it's lovely and sunny okay cheers